Hello, Michigan. Hello, Michigan. Taking advantage of a one-day break in his New York criminal trial, former President Donald Trump swooped into Michigan on Wednesday. Several thousand supporters turned out in Freeland, two hours northwest of Detroit, to see him. I haven't really been keeping up on the legal problems he's been having with that, but it seems to me that whatever they come at him with is not sticking. I think he has us all in his best interest. Freeland is in the only Michigan county that voted for Barack Obama twice, then Trump, and then Joe Biden. The local Republican chair says Trump can win back the voters he lost in 2020 if he leans into pocketbook issues and paints this election as high stakes. I think that many Americans feel like if he's not the president elected in 2024, that we're going to lose our country. In nearby Saginaw, we met Pastor Hurley Coleman Jr., whose son and grandson met one-on-one -on -one with Biden when he visited in March. My comfort and confidence is in the authenticity of what's being done by President Biden. He praises Biden's role in seeing the country through the pandemic, appreciates Biden's respect for institutions, and credits Biden with reducing unemployment and funding infrastructure, all without the daily drama that he says surrounds Trump. And I'm excited about boring success. From Saginaw to Dearborn, we found younger voters not very excited about a Biden-Trump rematch. It's not one or the other, it's neither. Kind of how I feel. Pretty much just the round two that nobody asked for, but I'm a little more pro Biden than most people my age, I would say. And in Detroit, we met Lexi Zaydan, a 31 year old Palestinian American who helped lead an effort in February that convinced more than 100,000 Democrats to vote uncommitted in their primary in protest of Biden's handling of the war in Gaza. Until we start having direct conversations and until there's actual, uh, there's an actual ceasefire implemented, Anything that they say to me is just, it's breadcrumbs and it's not something we're accepting. She's a graduate student at the University of Michigan, one of the many colleges and universities that have seen pro-Palestinian tent encampments. Biden spoke Thursday about the demonstrations that have turned violent and been broken up by police. There's the right to protest, but not the right to cause chaos. Zaydan did not appreciate his remarks. She predicts Biden will struggle to get votes in her native Dearborn, the Arab American center of Michigan, if the war between Israel and Hamas is still raging in November. I would never vote for Trump, but also you can't weaponize the fear of Trump against a murderer either. But in Dearborn, April Major offered this take. I'm voting for Biden, so you it are. won't be Trump. We won't have another White House uh, teardown. Trump won Michigan in 2016 by less than 11,000 votes, and Biden won it in 2020 by 154,000. The conversations we had with voters made clear that Trump's legal troubles, Biden's handling of Gaza, and the economy will be factors in determining which way this state swings in 2024. In Washington, Taylor Poplar's Spectrum News. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Let Spectrum News be your resource for balanced, in-depth political coverage and click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV to learn more about the candidates, where they stand on the issues and more. We'll see you then.